Hi everybody, my name is Jeff and today we have a quick how-to with the Parrot AR Drone 2.0. What I have here is an outdoor hull for the Parrot AR Drone 2.0 and this how-to is going to show you how to remove this decal from the outside of the drone. Now there's a couple of reasons that you might like to do this. First of all, you might like the look of the black foam and by removing the decal you end up with nothing but black foam. Another reason might be this sticker, a lot of people don't know this, but it's not actually a sticker. What it actually is, is a hard piece of plastic with adhesive around the outside. Now this plastic actually weighs 19.6 grams when you take both sides of it off of the outdoor hull. The Parrot in its outdoor mode only weighs about 400 grams. So what you're ending up with is, is by removing that, you're taking 5% of the weight of the drone off of it. What that could allow you to do with that weight savings, maybe go with a higher milliamp hour battery so that you can have a little bit more runtime, possibly add some accessories, maybe like some LEDs or something like that to the outside of the drone and not really have as much of a weight penalty on it. What I have right now is another body that I have and I've started to take the stickers off for the how-to. What you can see is that you basically end up with just the all black foam, which a lot of people might like. It's a little bit stealthier looking. Maybe it doesn't look as toy-like to you. Um, I personally don't believe that the, the AR Drone 2.0 is a toy. Um, I've never seen a toy grade RC that comes with four brushless motors, but a lot of people do view it as a toy. And if such, you know, that's your prerogative. I personally don't. But by taking the sticker off, you end up with something that's a lot more stealthy. A lot of people like that look. Now let's go ahead and get into how you do it. All right, folks, for doing this mod, you're going to need a couple of things. First of all, you're obviously going to need your AR Drone body. I personally like to use a glove because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a hair dryer on the high setting to basically loosen up the adhesive along the outside of this so that you can pull it off. Now you can just pull it off if you want to, but the problem with doing that is you end up pulling some of the foam out, the little pieces of it out, and it ends up, it ends up looking not quite so good. With the hair dryer, you can basically alleviate that. We're going to get right to it. The easiest way to do it is to put the hair dryer on high and then just hit the adhesive, which we know is just along the outside of it. There is none along the middle here. As you can see, this one actually has already started to come undone a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and get the rest of it off of there. Once you've got it heated up a little bit, you can usually start to try and pull it away at one of the edges. Again, you want to be real careful when you're doing this because you don't want to pull the, uh, the foam itself out of there. I found that at these front two edges seemed like the best places to start. And then what you're going to want to do, and this is the reason that I have the glove, is you basically are going to want to start slowly peeling it away and then you're going to start hitting it with the hair dryer while you're holding it in your hand which can end up, your hand can get a little bit warm when you're doing this, that's why I have the glove. I actually have a motorcycle glove on for this. You may end up with some pieces that are still kind of stuck there on the adhesive. You're going to go ahead and just pull that off. And there you have it. The all black drone body. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, if you were thinking about doing this, this video will help you out a little bit. Have a good day.